Hi everyone, Alex here of that there, the Mad Cartographer. Uh, this is a middle of the week, what a mad week, what a mad few days, uh, because I am on holiday tomorrow and won't be able to make anything at the end of the week. Uh, the reason I'm putting something out um, is to show you guys what is currently being worked on, what is in the pipeline and uh, what is going to be released when I get back. Um, we've changed, we changed a few things around last week in terms of what we wanted to release um, and a few maps got pushed around. We've had uh, one big map that's already been made by Stefan for the Darkon domain um, and then I was doing Castle Avernus which is like this big castle that's been blown up and is frozen um, in time basically and so like, everything's like mid explosion um, and so the intent was to release that this week but that map started taking a little while so we've decided to push that towards the end of the month you'll you'll be seeing that at the end so I'm not even going to show it now so one of the maps is already done and then mine's going to be finished off uh, as well as some other stuff that we are adding in um, we are for the next set of maps because we've been releasing everything with domains um, we have gone to the back of the book on Van Richten's where through, if you've not got the book it gives you um, a bunch of the main um, domains tells you all about them, gives them loads of information, loads of points of interest, etc, etc. At the back of the book, there is like a bunch of smaller domains where it's like, um, you know, a couple of paragraphs to give you an idea of it. And there were a few on there that we thought, you know what, <clears throat> thought these are quite cool. Um, you, you know, there's some good ideas here. and I think they're probably easy to implement into different campaigns, even if you're not doing a uh, dreaded domains uh, mists campaign. So we've started to do them and we've made a bunch of them. The thing is, is that we're trying to get a little bit creative with our Foundry content. You know, we've obviously, with the Summer Bundle, we've had so many new Foundry people join us. Um, we're now trying to up our game in terms of the Foundry content that we do. Big part of that is introducing the Levels module, which allows you to have these multi-level um, battle maps. And so we're trying to do it. We're starting somewhat simple, whilst I learn how to use the module. Um, but even starting simple means that you have to do a lot in terms of prepping a map. You've got to make all these different layers with PNGs that kind of stack on top of each other. So we're kind of in the process of learning how to do that. Um, so I'm going to show you the maps that we've made, the maps that are going to be going into um, Foundry when I get back. Um, I start doing all that stuff uh, and kind of explaining our thought process. So the, uh, the first set of maps uh, from the, the, the domain is the Headless Horseman's Bridge. And so it's like this little mini domain that pops up in other domains and it's just a bridge that the Headless Horseman will appear on. Uh, and if you get to the other side of the bridge, it takes you into another domain. You can like go into the mists and then you appear somewhere else. Uh, and it said that this bridge can appear anywhere. It can appear in any domain and sometimes it can be, you know, uh, in Mordant and it's kind of like a, a traditional wooden bridge. Um, and you're fighting a headless horseman, or you can be in Harakir and you, you know, fighting against a, a cataphract. You know, um, so I was like, okay, that sounds cool. We'll just make, you know, some, you know, three different bridges. Uh, and so that's what we've done. So we've got, um, we've got this that kind of like more traditional um, wooden bridge. And with this at the moment, we've got this version, which would just be the flat version, um, where we've faded out the the rooftop so you can see inside the bridge. In Foundry. Um, this is multiple levels, okay, so when you change, for those that are familiar with Foundry, you can change what height your character is at, um, and then with the levels module, that will move you up and down the z-axis, it will put you on a different level. So what we've done is we've done a version without the bridge, so you could be under the bridge. We've got a version when you're on the bridge, and you're under these beams, then there's a level where you could be climbing on top of the beams, so you're on above the headless horseman if you wanted to be tactical and kind of like walking along the beams, and then where you can be on top of the roof. So there's four different levels for uh, this bridge, and the idea is that you've got this bridge, and then it goes into the mists. Um, there are versions with and without the mists, so it is just a bridge if you wanted to just have a bridge combat. Um, so we've done this traditional uh, kind of covered bridge. We've got a desert bridge where, with Harakir. We've got these little um, kind of Sphinx-style statues uh, lining it. 
Uh, this is just a two level one, so it's going to be, you've got the bridge and then you could, you could be under the bridge as well. You know, if you've got a fly spell or spider climb or whatever like that, if you want to try and be clever in your players, you know, we, my campaign, we had uh, a big battle on a bridge not so long ago and we were fighting vampires and everything was up, you know, underneath uh, the bridge and stuff. So it was pretty cool. Um, and using this in Foundry gives you those kind of options without having to have stuff spread across multiple maps. Uh, and then we finally we've got this long pier, which I thought was just a little bit different. I'm about to cough. Get a drink left, that's good. And then we've got, you could have it as like a, a sea crossing if you wanted to, but without the mist it's basically a long pier. Um, and these are little canopy elements as well, so you just go under them. That's the only canopy there is on this, you're not going under the thing into the water. Um, but we've got this for kind of giving that little extra sense of depth to the map. So that's not using the, the levels uh, module, but it will be using the canopy system where you, you just go under it. So pretty happy with that, pretty cool. Fairly simple, um, but again, still not learned quite how to do it yet. So then, so those are the, th those three are for the Headless Horseman's Bridge. Uh, and then Stefan is doing the Sea of Sorrows, which is essentially like shifting islands, you know, this dreaded seas, ghost ships and stuff like that. Not done a ship, so don't get your hopes up. That that kind of thing will fall into when we do an oceans theme, which is probably on the horizon. You know, I, we've, we've not done one yet, so I think we will get to one at some point. Um, but uh, we've gone with Sea of Sorrows and there's two maps. One of them he's finishing off um, and it is a sunken island, so it's like all part, you know, underwater parts of it and then some of it's above land um, so he's finishing that one off but then the other one that he's done is a lighthouse um, and it's got some crazy weird creature in it this fossilized these fossilized uh, giant creatures um, but essentially um, you've got you've got the top um, with the rooftop so this would be the outside and again we're building this in levels so when you go inside um, you will have uh, level one and the the concept were um, with this was that it, there's a lighthouse but the beacon isn't to um, guide ships it is to guide the creatures that are in the pit below so that's kind of like what this thing is and so we've done this big pit at the bottom this like really creepy lighthouse and then there's going to be these different floors that you can uh, make your way up and you, you know you can go outside and climb up outside you know so it takes you uh, outside the map a little bit um, so there's going to be a little bit of tweaking and playing around with this map that is going to um, is going to require some big efforts working out how this works in in levels um, for Foundry. So this is a multi multi level map, pretty cool, pretty simple from the exterior. But you've got an exterior, so you've got some options. Um, and so that's that's going to be the second one of the Sea of Sorrow. So these should be coming out fairly quickly from when I get home. Um, we'll be kind of finishing some stuff off, and I'll be spending the weekend tweaking the maps and getting them all pushed into Foundry. So there's good. I mean, the next Foundry update, there's going to be a ton of stuff. Uh, and then finally what we're also working on so Stefan's going to be working on it while I'm away and then I'll be picking up some bits when I get back whether this this probably won't be released the weekend that I get back but maybe into the next week um, one of the domains is called Seer 1313 and it is a rail train from Eberron it's called the Morning Rail and the passengers um, on board were trying to escape some disaster the morning for anybody that is familiar uh, morning not in the morning the morning uh, anybody that's familiar with Eberron, it's this big kind of cataclysm thing that happened um, and this is one of the last trains that was trying to leave um, got caught in the blast and so now it's a ghost train and the passengers don't realize that they're dead basically and so we're making a rail train uh, so this is just the first concepts of it you know the first starts um, it is going to be um, a realistic size so we we played around with doing it um, as uh, five feet wide uh, uh, sorry uh, five squares wide so you've got more room to fight but it just doesn't feel right it, it just doesn't look right in my opinion so we're gonna stick with 
these cramped confined spaces we will have some carriages that are a bit more open so you've got a bit more room to fight around in uh, and for foundry with this this is the one that I'm worried about this is the one that I think we're gonna be biting off more than we can chew um, the concept with this is that each carriage is going to be I mean I've, what we do in World 20 uh, for the for the normal VTT maps we'll just release a bunch of these maps and you can kind of piece them together how you want for foundry we're going to do kind of like we did with the urban exteriors so these are going to be pre-walled trains that you can drag onto the thing so you can build the trains add whichever carriages you want um, and they will all be draggable from the compendium it'll bring with them the walls um, and, and that kind of stuff so there's going to be that. I don't know how the canopy feature is going to work with it, but we're going to put a roof on top so that you can essentially climb onto the roof of the carriages if you want to. Uh, and then, obviously, um, as it's a rail train, and it's a train that, do never, that never stops, it just keeps keeps going all the time, and it kind of like passes through other domains, um, we're going to look at Parallax here. And we're going to have a constantly moving... Uh, for those that aren't familiar with Parallax, it basically makes it look like something's animated and it keeps moving so you can have these looping um you know this ground that's speeding past you so it always looks like the train is going these are the ideas that i've got in my head this is what i want to do so we're going to have a bunch of uh, uh a bunch of these carriages i'd like to think we'll get around 15 to 20 of these carriages uh but we'll see it doesn't help that i'm away for a week and then i'm away for a few days after it was uh just an awkward month where all holidays kind of fell into the same month um, but next month fortunately it's a bit more of a clear schedule um, so yeah so that's kind of what we're looking at we have so like I said we've got three bridges we've got a multi-tiered lighthouse we have got the uh, a, like a, a mountain spa for Darkon we've got a castle in the middle of being exploded and then a whole bunch of these rail trains. This is what we're working on that we're trying to get out for this theme for this for, for August. So as you can see, a lot of content, a lot of maps. Um, and that's you know, that's generally kind of like what <laughs> that's our shtick here. You know, we try to get a lot of stuff out for you guys. Um, so there you go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're excited, hopefully you're looking forward to when these things are actually bloody available. <laughs> I'll be happy when they're done. Um, so there you go, I want to just keep you updated, show you what is coming out uh, and uh, let you know that we are working on stuff. I know stuff doesn't necessarily get released, we don't generally have a release schedule. We just put stuff out when it's done but we just make sure we keep doing good stuff. Uh, so there you go, hope you like it, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, if I don't speak to any of you before, uh, I will speak to you when I get back from my holidays. So take care of each other, uh, let us know what you think in the comments below and as ever, keep rolling those 20s, folks. Peace.